Life is never easy. There is work to be done and obligations to be met. Obligations to truth, to justice, and to liberty. This was stated by America's 35th president, John F. Kennedy. Kennedy was only 43 year old, three years old when elected in 1961. He served until assassinated in 1963 and was our first Roman Catholic president. But more importantly, Kennedy stood for principles of truth, justice, and equality and never changed these principles either. This makes him much like our previous president, Thomas Jefferson, who was our third president and served from 1801 to 1809. He was famous for being the father and creator of our Constitution, which similarly states, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Although these authorities were approximately 160 years apart in office, they both carried an idea and principle in our nation that have lasted throughout of year, through the years. These principles are of liberty, truth, justice, honesty, and freedoms that we have all enjoyed here in the United States. They have taught us that America has not, will not, and should never forget the founding ethics of our magnificent country. My family has been living here since it's been settled. My ancestor, or great-grandfather times a thousand, as it feels like, William Ethington, sailed here from England, and ever since, the Ethingtons have been thriving here. <laughs> We have enjoyed hundreds of years of the right to have freedom of religion, bear arms, which is extremely important in my family's case because of our lasting tradition of hunting obsessions. And not only that, we've lived under a constitutional republic with a free market and a system of structured social justice. Yes, you might think of us Ethingtons as the perfect definition of an all-American family. And we're very proud to be this. But not only do we recognize that there are many other families who started out just like us and are just as proud to be us. We share the same pride because of the hard work and diligence we've put into obtaining these freedoms that we now enjoy. It makes my family, the Ethingtons, as, many, as well as many other families of the United States of America, immensely proud that Americans will never be willing to lose the blessings and rights that we have previously obtained. We have obligations, just as Kennedy stated, to truth, justice, and liberty. We are obligated to be an example as we are compelled to act and treat others as equals here in America, as we do have the choice to. This choice is a part of our protected rights, and treating others as equal is a gorgeous gift that we can all give to one another. Let me repeat that Jefferson stated that all men are, cre all men are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We are given pr certain privileges that must not be endangered nor revoked, but shared with all and celebrated by all. We have the autonomy to have life, we have the emancipation of liberty, and we have the beauty of a chance at the pursuit of happiness. As our presidents have so pointedly proclaimed, our country is founded on the making of freedom and liberty. This is what makes America so unique and so significant to our world. We place our hands over our hearts and salute the grand old flag to commemorate, celebrate, and observe the life we have been provided with here. This is where we stand proudly on our red, white, and blue soil. This life is what gives us the opportunity of social justice, constitutional freedoms, and inalienable rights. This is the place that my ancestor, William Ethington, sailed in search of freedoms, liberties, blessings, and truths my family now enjoys. Thanks to this country, I can post my opinion or, any, or stance on any subject anywhere freely. I can worship any religion I choose to. I have the right to protect myself when needed, and I am blessed by enjoying the words and works of others through books, articles, literary analysis, dissertations, persuasive essays, and more. This country has provided countless opportunities for so many. After all, America is a place of growth, and taking advantage of this is our responsibility. We are responsible for choosing the journey that leads to unyielding joy and independence. Just as Thomas Jefferson, and in some way or another, all of our leaders have instructed us to do so. So let us all share and honor and praise our country for its freedoms that it gives us life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Thank you.